Welcome back. This has been such a fascinating show so far. And uh, the fascination continues with my next guest. We were talking death in the previous segment. We're going to be talking a little bit about birth and a birth chart in this next segment. I'm joined by professional astrologer, life coach, and group facilitator, Eleanor Kibrick. Welcome. Great to have you, you here, Eleanor. Thank you. Uh, you wear many hats, but today we're going to talk to you as a professional astrologer. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about, you know, just the... The, there's a lot of ancient history behind astrology. Tell me a little bit about, you know, what attracted you to astrology. Well, it actually it wasn't the ancient history, but what attracted me is I was in graduate school, and this is a long time ago, and I was in California, and I was uh, in the medical community. I'm not a doctor, but I'm in the healthcare profession. Okay. And I'd see this doctor kind of going down the hall with his entourage, and I went, I wonder if he's a Leo. Really? And, yeah, yeah. And okay. then uh, uh, I would think of an anesthesiologist or people who are behind the scenes. And I said, they're probably a Pisces or maybe Virgo, you know. <laughs> and and I, I checked up on myself. And, and that's very superficial. But it right. was like... You know, people really present themselves so differently, and certainly we're much more than our sun signs, much more. It's much more complex than that. And also, uh, it was the um, science of royalty in Babylonia and, you know, older cultures that where the wise men or women looked to the heavens and they would see patterns and they would see patterns change. Right. And so, for instance, a meteor would go, happen. That was a major event. And that could be when a war started. You know, like it was um, useful. So have we seen that then throughout history? You, you've yeah. seen astrology and, and alignments of, of planets and, and so forth. And, and then you, you would see an actual historical event Absolutely. around that? Absolutely. Uh, one, of, one of the most more recent ones would be in the 60s. There were two strong planets close together, Pluto and Uranus. Okay. And that has to do with social upheaval, breakdown of, uh, breakdowns, um, uh, uh, really shifts in society, and that especially between 1965 and 1967, these particular planets were right together. Right. And uh, Pluto has to do with looking at things in a depth level. Uranus has to do with sudden changes. And, uh, and then when that was gone, when it moved away from that tight relationship, uh, the energy changed. What about on a, on a personal basis? How, how do the planets alignment, the stars, the sun, how, how does that affect us in a, in a personal way? Well, it's very personal. <laughs> Okay. And um, when someone is born at a certain place and time, we draw up a chart to look at where were the planets in our solar system. It isn't a matter of, uh, of uh, the stars. It, we're looking at the planets uh, uh, orbiting around our sun, which is okay. our star. This is an example I'm showing here, yeah. right? Yeah. A, a, so, uh, a birth that, chart. That's a birth chart. So we, put, we map out where the planets were when the person was born and how the planets were arranged and uh, connected with each other. It gives a tremendous amount of information about the people. What, what kind of information? Um, your strengths, your uh, attitudes in relationships, uh, your health, um, you name it. It's, it. There's a lot of areas there. Uh, your uh, spirituality, your career, your health. Uh, lots of things uh, are in that chart. And, um, and so I've done uh, the examples you're putting out is a husband and a wife. Okay. And you can see that one has the pattern you're showing. And then if you look at the second one, you'll see it's not the same at all. It's like right. a set of fingerprints. And so everyone's unique. I've even done readings for identical twins, and they're not identical people. Really? Yeah. 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 That is fascinating. So, yeah, you do do readings. So tell me about, like, what is that process like when, when you sit down with someone to well, do Well, when reading? I sit down with someone, I, like, I've been a teacher most of my life. Okay. So I want them to understand their own chart. I don't just want to tell them things and they're not seeing it for themselves. Okay. So this is like a personal portrait. And so when I sit someone down, I show them these red lines have to do with your talents and abilities you're just born with. Really, you do very easily. These things might be challenges that come up in your life with regard to 
whatever, your health, your career, your whatever, uh, your attitude. And so uh, they can look at it and see it, and that makes all the difference. Eleanor, I wonder, I mean, has there, there must be occasions where you're sitting down with someone and you tell them about a talent and, and they might not even realize they've had it, and then perhaps, you know, down the road, you know, when you sit down with them again, they go, oh, my goodness, I am a good, I don't know, sculptor yeah, or painter yeah. or whatever Well, it's it also, um, I really let the... Uh, whatever comes through me, I let it flow to know that it's what the people, it's for them, it's not for me. Right, yeah. And so um, a lot of times I don't remember what I said and then they'll call me and say, you know, you were right. Uh, we sold the house in October. You know? <laughs> That's a mundane example, but right. it, it has been very life-changing for people yeah, when I they realize imagine. what are the areas that need healing or focus. Or uh, a whole other example, years ago I did a reading for a, a mother and, and her three-year-old girl. And I just started intuitively, and I said, you know, your little girl isn't really into sports. Well, the mother was so upset. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> you know, she's, she was into sports. And I said, by any chance, have you taken your little girl to uh, infant or toddler gymnastics? She said, yes. I said, and she, it didn't work, and she didn't no, like it. she um, wasn't interested. I really appreciate the time, Eleanor. I just yeah. running out of time here. We'll be back with more right after this.